everybody welcome to the impressive channel i wanted to do a spotlight video on the very very talented entertainer kiki palmer kiki palmer is an actress tv host writer dancer comedian producer performer you name it kiki can do it all but one thing she could do very well that she doesn't get enough credit for is singing music has always been a passion of kiki's ever since she was a little girl but for some reason her music career has always been in the shadow of her acting career labels wouldn't support her in the way she needed to be supported and the general public didn't pay as much attention to her music as they did to her films and her tv shows but kiki never gave up on her love for music she absolutely loved to sing and she never turned down the opportunity to show off her singing talents she even said that she would sing when she would do different auditions so her singing ability actually helped launch her acting career when i was I guess this is when I was nine. I did my first audition for Barbershop 2. And the only reason I even was able to get the audition was because I could sing. And so I went to my audition and my mom told me they said that Ice Cube and, you know, the cast director, the producers was going to be in the room. I'd go into the room and before we got a chance to do the lines, I was going to be like, you know, I really just want to sing for you like I sang for you on the tape. Will you really let me sing? And so I went in, I did my thing, I sang the song, I did the lines, and I got the part. And my mom and I felt like this was my thing. When we moved to California, when I tell y'all my mother and I did that same scenario every damn place we went, <laughs> we in the casting director's room. How you guys doing? Mommy, it. mommy, can I sing for them? Please. I, I really would love Kiki. No, you can't. Whoa. Mommy, but I really let her sing. Be alive. <laughs> After Kiki snagged her first role in Barbershop 2, she went on to star in movies like Aquila and the Bee, which was her breakout role, and she also starred in the Disney TV movie Jump In. Around this time, this is when Kiki's professional music career started. In 2006, she signed with Atlantic Records and started recording her first album, So Uncool. She released two singles from So Uncool, which included Footworking and Keep It Moving. Unfortunately, her album didn't perform well, and Kiki did tell Stylecaster that her album wasn't promoted by the label. She said, on my first album, I made sure to have so much creative control, but because of that, the album wasn't very promoted. It's kind of a double-edged sword. If you don't listen to the label and you do your own thing and protect your art, a lot of the times you won't get promoted. And if you do what they want, you will get promoted, but in a version of yourself that isn't true to who you are. Kiki was very disappointed with how her first album was handled, and she soon realized that the music industry is a tough business. Her first label experience left her very jaded and discouraged. Yeah. You just go hard, you know what I mean? And there were times in my music where I didn't go hard because music was something that came so easy to me as a kid. I grew up in a church, so, you know, somebody tell you to sing, you can sing, boom, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm there, you know what I mean? But with acting, my success in acting came so quickly and so fast. And so when I was younger and people didn't feel that same way about my music, it always hit my ego. And so I would I let see. it get me down. Oh. When Kiki moved on and signed to her second record label, Interscope Records, she dealt with more of the same issues she experienced on Atlantic. Also, while she was recording her music project, Awaken, she found out that people were trying to steal her music. She said, I've been working extremely hard to record amazing new music for my fans. Unfortunately, someone is stealing my music and leaking songs. I guess just because they can. I am hurt, but at this point, there's not much I can do, but I'd rather give my songs away for free than let someone just take them. Kiki did end up releasing Awaken as a mixtape. She also released another self-titled mixtape in 2012, and the mixtape included songs like You Got Me featuring Kevin McCall and Dance Alone, which would have been a bona fide hit for any other artist. But for some reason, Kiki's music was not getting the attention it deserved. At this point, Kiki's acting career was doing better than ever. She had her own hit show on Nickelodeon called True Jackson VP, 
and she starred in movies like Rags and Joyful Noise, which were both music related films. With the success of her show and her movies, it would have made sense for her music career to be a success as well. Entertainers like Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande were able to kickstart successful music careers off of their own acting careers, but unfortunately, Kiki didn't have that luxury. Kiki was extremely talented, more talented than most, but she had to work harder, especially with her being a brown-skinned black girl who sang R&B music in the industry. Because of the musical climate around that time, Kiki's image and her sound wasn't fully embraced in music, so she had to work hard. After signing with her second label, Interscope Records, Kiki dealt with more setbacks. She said, my mom and I had this idea that when you get with a major label, they're really gonna be able to do everything and help you. But that's not really how it is. She also spoke on her label signing her because of her popularity as an actress, not because of her artistry. She said, I felt like my fan base and my popularity were things that they were attracted to, but they really didn't take the time to understand me as an artist and really help me tell my story. I was in many situations where people wanted my fan base, but they weren't allowing me to have a true connection to my audience when it came to music. In 2015, Kiki signed with her third record label, Island Records, and she released her song, I Don't Belong To You, which was a smooth, mature R&B song that showed Kiki in a new light. And it was a great buzz single. I Don't Belong To You is still a fan favorite to this day. Kiki also had other singles that created some buzz, including Hands Free and Enemies featuring Jeremiah. Kiki never got a chance to release a full album under Island Records, but she did release a five single mixtape called Lauren, and she also released another mixtape called Waited to Exhale, which was an older project she recorded when she was still on Interscope. She said in her caption on SoundCloud, these are the words I was afraid to stand behind because I had too much anxiety and could not process my experiences and how they were separate from the spirit of who I was. All of these songs were written and created during True Jackson BP. I had already had a poor experience with my first record company. And then when I started True Jackson BP, I embarked on a second album. And yet again, I let the label's confusion of me not being able to fit in a box become my confusion of me. It was almost as if I was divergent, which we all are. And I was being ridiculed and not supported because the industry couldn't understand it. I swallowed my voice for so long and felt that I would not release this music because I was sick of the music business turning its back on me. It wasn't until many years later now that I've listened back on these records and realized I have always known the truth of who I was. I just allowed others perception of me to become my perception of myself. I did not spread my wings because I was told I couldn't fly a certain way and I believed it. I stopped trying altogether because I allow people to make me believe that being an artist meant having big budget music videos and big record producers backing you. When in reality, all being an artist means is to be fearless in your creative pursuits. My anxiety caused by the habit of unconsciously holding my breath coupled with the stress of my personal life at that time created a lot of hard years of depression for me. However, I'm exalted now because God brings it to you when you are ready, not when you think you are. I am now right where I should be and I can see with my heart that I've always known who I am and who I want to be. Now I release to you the unreleased album I composed when I was 16, now titled Waited to Exhale. Enjoy, I love you all for your support during those years, though I let so many of you down. It was so hard for me to fight through my anxiety and my depression, but God put me through it. So I could tell you, believe in yourself because that's all that's stopping you. You must believe in the dark so when the light comes on, everything is seen clearly. After dealing with frustrating battles with the labels, Kiki finally decided to go independent. She was tired of the labels not believing in her and not financially supporting her and promoting her. She said, if you're not gonna support me financially with what I need and help me distribute my record worldwide, unless I do things exactly the way you want, then that's dictatorship. And no artist wants to be a part of a dictatorship. 
After leaving Island Records, she started up her own independent company called Big Bosses Entertainment. Doing music independently was not a new concept for Kiki, but being independent did come with some more responsibilities and some unexpected challenges. At one point, she was saddened that she had to push back her album. She said, I feel so sad for a couple of reasons. The first being that when I tell my fans something, the people that have always supported me, I want to come through for them. When it has come to music, I feel like I have always let you guys down. I will say something is coming out this day, the album will be released this time, and it never happens. What y'all don't know is the album is done. It's been done for a whole year. What y'all don't know is I've worked so hard on so many launches. I have planned, scheduled, prepared, and put so much of my heart and soul into delivering you music at the level in which you deserve, at the level in which everything I put out is. But the music industry and the things you have to go through, the way it's set up is absolutely soul crushing. This story is so outdated and I cannot put it into words, but anyone that does music will understand what I mean. I give you dates and set expectations and then I am just as confused as you are when things don't follow through. It took me so many years to recover emotionally from the disappointment and heartbreak of my first record deal at 12. I thought starting my own label and owning my music would make things easier, but they are just that much more complicated. All I want to do is make music and let it be heard. I truly don't understand how something that can come so easily to me be surrounded by so much BS. I am deeply saddened to tell you that I don't know when you will get new music. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get it to you. This is not to be like boohoo or anything. It's simply me being a person of my word, being transparent, and letting you know what's going on. That I don't have any answers for you. All I can say is I still love music itself, and if it happens that I'm able to share that with you guys sometimes, I will. I had to say something instead of looking crazy as if, like I've been lying to you. I've been being lied to as well. Even through all of the disappointing obstacles, Kiki was eventually able to release music independently. Within the past several years, she released multiple projects under Big Boss's entertainment, including her mixtape Kiana Nicole and her albums Virgo Tendencies Part 1 and Part 2, which included songs like Thick and Snack, Sticky, Hook, Virgo Tendencies, Dreamcatcher, and more. And she also released a buzz single called Better To Have Loved. Kiki had her share of struggles navigating in the music industry, but her love for music never died. She continued to act in several music-related projects, including Grease Live, TLC's Crazy Sexy Cool Story, Cinderella on Broadway, and Star, where she released her single Bossy, and other projects. She also came to the realization that she didn't need to be a big star to be considered successful. And that's what helped her overcome her insecurities when it came to music. I used to feel a lot of insecurities in music because music is such a personal experience and music was my first love. I think I've always right. been able to be more objective about acting and all these other things because they kind of just came to me without me knowing, you know, but right. music was something that I always at a young age, I believed in myself in. And then throughout the industry, it got very challenged. With music, I had to really come to that understanding that success is what you make it and what you design it to be. Everybody is not Beyonce. And that's mm -hmm. all right. That doesn't mean that you're not amazing because if you're not Beyonce, maybe you are Nora Jones. I think, you know, all of those things coming to understanding that at the end of the day, I just have to be true to me and allow me living in that truth to be success enough, that has helped me to get through some of those wobblies. You lost out there, you're all alone. Need somebody to help you, to carry you home. Everywhere you look. One night of pleasure really cost me. I'm one so wrong. This time the tables have turned. Cause I'm still in love. Moonlight, I 
this world were mine, oh baby. Baby, believe me, it's only a matter of time. So There can be miracles you can achieve. The hope is frail, somehow you will. Who knows what miracles you can achieve, you can achieve when you believe somehow you Anything they want to say Try to bring me down But I will not go let anyone to believe That they have mistreated me Cause there is a light in me That shines brightly They can try but they can't take that away from me No, they can't take this Precious love will always have inside of me. Certainly the Lord will guide me where I need to be. Oh, they, they can't do anything they want to do. They can try, but they can't take that away from Like love was supposed to make me stand by. And watch you tell me those lies Why would you do me that way? What if I told you I was out loving another man? What if I told you it didn't mean a thing? What if I told you that I loved you so, but these hoes I can't let go? Could you handle all the things that you told me? How about some reverse psychology? I sing because I'm happy, and I sing. Because I'm free, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. I hope you all enjoyed this Kiki Palmer Spotlight video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.